Hello everybody, this is Rick Gamers 25. Welcome back to Let's Play Minecraft Story Mode. I thought I heard Sparkle say something about a flint and steel. Yeah, oh, he did. Please don't bring that up again. Well, yep, don't bring it up. Didn't steal it. Okay, but who then? Uh, Jesse. Oh dear, he's crossed out now. Well, I guess I'm next then. Oh dear. Nope, not happening. But your inventory Why would he clean, want you? Right? No flint and steel? Why would he want you? I suppose he's just being thorough. Also, I'm sure I've got something he wants. Well, I'm sure there's a perfectly logical explanation for how the White Pumpkin is doing all this. Yeah, we'll find I out mean, about it. the whole place has got to be rigged with traps, right? Torque Dog, trap. Sparkles, trap. Yeah, we need to find out what makes these traps tick. Okay. All right, I'm gonna investigate that dining room. Cool. I'll keep those guys in the hall for now so I can keep an eye on everyone. Yep. An excellent idea. Don't want them messing up the crime scene. Yep, I'm sticking keep with your you, eye on them. Doesn't seem safe to wander off alone. Yeah, thanks, okay, Lucas. Okay, people, clear out. This is a crime scene. Okay, how are you doing this, White Pumpkin? Okay. Let's take a look. Let's examine the place. What? Okay, so this Corset. was the dining table where we were all gathered together right before. Oh, a button. Let's push that button and see what happens. Okay, let's give this a shot. Just like before. Greetings, adventurers. I am the White Pumpkin. Yep. One of you Just like the before. treasure I desire. And I will not rest until it is mine. Even if I have to resort to murder. Hmm. It's just a costume on an armor stand with a jukebox for the voice. No sign of how it was triggered. Hmm. Wow. How'd that happen? The White Pumpkin must have some amazing redstone skills to rig up something like this. But why? It must have taken a lot of work to rig up. I think it could uh, have throw been us off, throw the us trail. off the trail, make us think there were two white pumpkins or something. Well, hopefully something else in here can shed a little more light on the situation. Jesse! He's back! The white pumpkin's back! Don't worry, everyone, it's just a dummy. A white pumpkin costume on an armor stand. Wait, what? Why? The trap that killed Sparkles, hmm. the whole show with the white pumpkin... It was all triggered by a button on the table. Yep, I saw it. What does that mean? I am so creeped out right now. Understandably. It means the killer that the sat at this table. Sat at this very table and pushed the button. Wait, so you're saying that the white pumpkin is one of us? That's right, Mr. Stampy. One of us is a murderer. Exactly. And he sat right here. Wait, but that's not where Jesse found the button before. There's more than one? I'll see if I can find all of them. Nice work, Jesse. Yes, I must say I'm relieved to know that there's a logical explanation for what the white... Then what killed Talk Dog? So what now? Feels like we've made some good progress so far, though, right? Uh, we need, we to, need to connect the evidence. All our evidence and see how it connects. That tipped arrow means the White Pumpkin is a master brewer, and the traps show that he's a real redstone expert. Okay, that's all of them. If you could all please take the same seat you were at before. Four of your seats are marked. These are the seats that had a button to activate the trap. That means the White Pumpkin could only be Dan, Stampy, Lizzie, or Lucas. Wait, you're accusing us? Hmm. Wait, what? I echo their sentiments exactly. I didn't even see I'm not see accusing anyone yet. Hey, 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 I'm not accusing anyone. Yet. It sure sounds like you're accusing us, stranger, and I don't care for it. I'm taking charge now, and I'm going to get to the bottom of this. Who do I want, do I want to? I'm going to talk to each suspect one by one, so I can find out who's telling the truth and who's lying. Who do I want to talk I got to a first? Whole lot of questions, and I want nice little matching answers for each and every one of them. Understand me? Loud and clear. Yes, crystal clear. Who are you going to interrogate first? Interrogate first. Who am I? Uh... Lizzie. Lizzie. Eldie Shadow Lady.
Oh dear, there's a white pumpkin poster. Jesse, listen. There's been a lot of talk thrown around today. I don't know what people have told you. I don't know what you believe. But I'll just admit it. I want that enchanted flint and steel as much as anyone. Okay. Probably more than any of them. I've been searching for it for years. Do you know how much it stung to have Dan, Dan, swoop in and take it from under my nose? So aggravating. You said you found Hang it. On. I thought you said you found it. Well, I as good as found it. I did the research, I did the studying, I was all prepared to go in there and finally get it when that little goggle wearing goon swept in and stole it first. Listen, I Dan just want to get out here and get on with my day. What do you have to hear to be convinced that the white pumpkin isn't me? Know what this you is? know about tipped arrows? Tipped arrow. Kind of shoddy work, though. Definitely not one of mine, if that's what you're wondering. Some noob made that thing. Stampy asked me once about how to make those. Could be one of his. Plus, I taught Cassie and Stacy how to make those a while back. Uh, like how are you at making traps? Ever make traps with the stuff? I'm fine, I guess. I can make lights and doors and stuff. You want to do advanced stuff? You gotta talk to Stampy. He was the tri block champion. Tri block champion? Hmm. Yeah, like two or three years in a row, if I recall correctly. Tri block champion? I'm just gonna be straight. Did you take Who the flint and steel? Stole the flint and steel. Well, it wasn't me, if you're curious. If I had an enchanted flint and steel, I'd be off exploring some other world with it. But me and Dan have been competing to find that thing for years. You're looking for a likely culprit? I'd look at that guy. So I'll keep that in mind. Try box champion. Thanks for your time, Lizzie. That's all for now. That sounds more like Seth Blin or Efo. They're good at redstone. Who's up next? Uh, uh Can you send Dan in, please? Send in right. the diamond my cart, thank you very much. I want to speak to him next. His hair's great. I, I don't know what she told you, but I'm telling you, you've got the wrong guy. Honest. I would never hurt anyone. You've got to believe me. If anyone's been wronged here, it's me. That enchanted flint and steel everyone's talking about, I found that. That's mine. At least it was before someone stole it. Lizzie said that you stole it. And now everything's gone completely crazy. People uh, getting caught in horrible traps, everyone accusing of It means a lot to you? Wow, this flint and steel means a lot to you, doesn't it? You don't get it. Lizzie and I have been chasing each other to get that thing for years. And now people are dying because of it? I just want you to know the truth. I'm not the white pumpkin. You've got to believe me. What can I tell you to convince you? Hmm, tell me some more stuff. Um. Out with it. Who, Who stole, stole your flint, flint steel? And steel? I, I don't like uh, accusing people, but my guess would be Stampy. Stampy? He likes to play off like he's not interested in it, but I know he wants it just as much as any of us do. Uh, so how's your redstone? How do you rate your redstone knowledge? Me? Oof, not much. Not really my scene. You want to know more about that stuff? You should ask Stampy. He was the tri block champion. That's what Lizzie told yeah, me. Yeah, three years in a row, according to Lizzie. There, you see? He's the only one here who could have built such amazing traps. Know it's anything only about hours. this? Oh, wow. Uh, no, I've never seen anything like that before. No? Tipped arrows not ringing a bell? Made using potions? Have you talked to Stampy yet? He loves bows and arrows and stuff. Hmm. Stampy will be next. You can go now, Dan. Thanks, Jesse. Okay. Thank you. Dan. And when Stampy comes in, don't forget to ask him about Redstone. He's amazing with that stuff. You're free. Want me to send in Stampy? Yeah, send him in. Right, let's talk to him now. Jesse, I'm telling you, this is just crazy. Absolutely crazy. Total misunderstanding. Sit down, Stampy. I don't even want that flint and steel thingy. Not um, as much as the others at any rate. Did I hear someone saying that it has something to do with portals? I don't have any interest in portals. No, sir. Not for old Mr. Stumpy Cat, thank you. It's me, Stumpy! Everyone's uh, friend! I gotta you say, seem nervous. Stampy, you seem nervous. Everything okay? You comfortable? Um, what? No, I'm not nervous. Nope, totally comfortable. I could fall asleep right here, right now. I'm that comfortable, honestly. Okay. Please, just tell me what you want to know. Alright. 
Okay, who took the flint and around. steel? Who do you think took the flint and steel? I don't think it was ever actually stolen. What? Oh? Yeah, so Dan got it ahead of Lizzie, right? And she was pretty angry about it. I think he made up that story about it being stolen, so she'd think he didn't have it anymore. Hmm. Classic Dan move. Dear. Know anything uh, about this? What about this? the tipped arrow? Oh, wow. What is that? Some sort of magic arrow? No, I've never seen anything like it before. Honest. You know who would love to see something like that, though? Lizzie. She's wild about potions and brewing. I showed and her that. that. She's way better with that stuff than I am. She said good with potions, that she wouldn't say? make that. Very good. Could probably even teach a class. <laughs> it's, we're what just you know going redstone. Stuff? What's your skill level with the stuff? Well, you know, about average, average level, moderate. I, I don't know how these things are graded these days. That's funny because I heard you know all about redstone. What? What? Uh, what are you talking about? Uh, Everyone says you're, you're the, the best tri block redstone. champion. Something about being tri block champion. Okay, 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 okay. Fine. You caught me. I do know redstone. I'm technically even an expert. But I would never kill anyone, I swear! You have to believe me, honest! Redstone. Hmm. You're excused, Stampy. Thank you for your time. Ah, oh, thank goodness. This room's making me very nervous. Not oh, enough God. information. This is nuts. You had a button too. Fair's fair. It's your buddy's turn next. Not enough information for anyone to be the white pumpkin. Hey, Jesse. Ah, my final suspect. Here to point more fingers and blame more people, I'm sure. I didn't push the button, you know. I figured. Thanks, though. Yep. Look at going in here. Your innocence. It is just non-stop whispering and rumors out there. Uh, you Petra and Ivor? Pretty these much people have so much themselves. drama. Well, it's been rough. These people have so much drama going on, it's hard to tell what's about the flint and steel, what's about the white pumpkin. Well, I know you can do it. <laughs> Thanks, Lucas. Come on, suspect. It's time to return to the others. Yep. So? Have you decided? Yes. Who do you think the White Pumpkin really is? No, hang on. Hang on, everyone. First of all, I want to thank everyone for answering my questions. There's still not 100% proof of anyone, but... But... Yes. Where are your suspicions? Hmm. Jesse was definitely questioning Stampy the longest. What? No! Dan was in there way longer. Hey, not cool. Guys, guys, come on. Uh, not I sure enough to accuse anyone. To accuse anyone yet. What? Yeah, that seems surprising. I'm sorry, but I don't want to accuse anyone unless I'm 100% sure. And I'm not. Wow. Way to take a bold stance, Jesse. Well, I, for one, am not comfortable being surrounded by possible killers. So, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to barricade myself in the library for my own safety. Fine, suit yourself. Yeah, I'm more in the safety and numbers camp myself. <laughs> well, that was certainly some excitement. Yeah. Okay. No kidding. If the White Pumpkin is still roaming around, though, he might be trying to set up more traps. We need to figure out how these things work. Like, we know that the sparkles trap was triggered by those buttons under the table, but what about the trap that turned Torque Dog into a pincushion? Yeah, let's go look at how that. these things work. We might be able to find more proof about who the White Pumpkin is. The trap is operating. in the kitchen. However the White Pumpkin did it, he must have done it from the kitchen. Yes. Seems like it might be worth our while to poke around the kitchen. You guys go on ahead. I'm gonna stay here, keep an eye on these other people. I don't want okay. them trying anything when we're not looking. Thanks, Lucas. Back in the kitchen. So, what are we looking for exactly? The arrow trap. Buttons like back in the dining room? We need loose concrete ends infinites. Flying around. A lot of evidence that doesn't add up. We need to find some definitive concrete evidence. Exactly. Got it. I'm on the lookout. Hmm. Let's look at this painting. Does this painting have... Eye holes? Oh, yeah. How did I not notice that before? Seems worth taking a closer inspection. Okay. Oh! Secret passage. And a lever. It's some sort of secret passage. 
passageway. Very clever. What do you suppose that lever does? I reckon it's the arrow trap. Okay, everyone, make sure you're nowhere near that arrow trap. Out of the way, please. More of those potion covered arrows. Nasty. Well, looks like we found out how the white pumpkin killed Tork Dog. Yeah, he was behind here the and he hit the lever. I assume we're investigating the creepy passageway. I think we've come too far to turn around now. Exactly. Well, after you then. Up. Oh. I'm ending this episode here. Regame soon five sign off. Thanks for watching. See you again next time.